In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, a deeper dive into React Native in the um, first video, uh, the previous one to this video. I just showed you how to install React Native and Node.js on your computer. And we just ran the basic um, app.js file. Uh, I showed you where the code was in there um, and all that stuff. And so we didn't really do anything with it. So we're going to take you step by step now um, into building an app and the different um, things you'll need. And the first thing we're going to need, we're going to kind of um, build is we're going to kind of go from the top to the bottom and we'll start with a app bar, which this would be like the top um, of your application, your website or mobile app, whatever it is. Um, and it will look something like this right here. We have the name of your application, some kind of button link here. Um, and we'll uh, kind of show you how you can um, implement that. We're going to use Material UI and they have a, an app bar kind of uh, function in there. And so let's look at how we do that. So you're first going to need to bring up your terminal window. Um, just open it up and navigate to the folder where your project exists. And you're going to run this line here, um, npm install and the material UI core. Um, this is kind of a screenshot of, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again there. It takes about a minute, maybe two, to load um, everything for you. And uh, I'll, I'll say if you're going to follow along with these tutorials, you may want to do this one as well. You won't need it to do what we're doing today, but eventually we're going to use those icons um, so you can do that. Um, and just if you're not familiar with it, uh, Material uh, UI is a, uh, a very popular library that's used in uh, to go along with React. And like I said, we were looking at the app bar. So uh, if you click on that, um, the, everything that I go over in here, you can kind of look up on their website and get information about how it works and, and know the uh, details if you want to um, dive deeper into these areas. Um, there's code, and a lot of the code I use, I get right from this website, the materialui.com. Um, anyway, though, uh, let me keep on going with the uh, tutorial. So, um, you'll, uh, so anyway, we're going to do that, and um, we're going to actually add what's called a component to our application. Now, this is a, a video all to itself that I'll make um, soon in an upcoming video. But for right now, just know that a component is a JavaScript class or function that um, kind of uh, accepts inputs and returns a React element. And it's a good way to um, build out your application. And you'll, you'll see what I mean by that. Um, uh, so I'm not going to go deep into that, but we're going to get started by creating, I'd like you to do is create a folder um, in your um, in your project. So you're going to add, if wherever your project is, I mean, mine is on my um, desktop. <clears throat> I have a uh, React tutorial here, and the SRC is where your um, JavaScript files are, and you're going to go into your component you're going to create a folder called comp called component, and you're going to create a file called app underscore bar dot js, and we're going to use that um, to build out, uh, put our code for our app bar, and it's a good way to cleanly build your app. And so, this is the code you're going to put at the um, top. These are imports that you're going to need. So for every like little piece that you take, a little module, if you will, from Material UI you need to um, grab an import for it. Um, I'll make sure all this code is accessible to you. And um, this is some code that's kind of, like I said, straight from the Material UI website for implementing the app bar. Um, you start off by using, uh, you're creating um, a little style sheet. Um, this is our um, a constant you make uh, called use styles. And uh, there's really not a whole lot to it, but it, sets it up so that we have this flex box and we and we um, have a margin right for our, our button, which you'll see in a, a second. 
Um, so and then this is just the the rest of the code that goes in the um, appbar.js, and it's uh, you know you have your your um, app bar, um, and inside that you put a toolbar, and then this uh, type uh, typography is um, basically some text. It's like that's my header. That's what um, uh, you know the title of your your app should be. And then there's a button that you can make say anything. Um, we just had it as a, a login. That's what the it came with with the default code. Um, then you just have all your closing tags. Um, and so let, let me show you kind of what that looks like. So I have this all together in my HTML editor. Um, there's the imports, right? There's the uh, style, and then there's your function, which you can call this anything. I called it my app bar, and that's what has um, this return is what it returns. It's going to send it to that app JS um, file, which we're going to update momentarily. Um, but here's that code. Um, and so let's go take a look at our app JS. So if, and actually I'm going to take this off the screen for a second. If you recall, our app JS had um, looked like this. Um, this was just a default code that was in, that was kind of uh, installed when, when, when we installed um, React Native and created this um, application. Uh, it's just some, oh, I would call it dummy code. We can delete all of this. I'm going to have you put in some new code. There's a couple imports. We're not putting a ton in here, but we're going to use component. Um, and we're going to um, uh, import our app bar.js file, and that's how you do it. And specifically, when we want to grab that function. So that's what that looks like. Um, and then uh, it's all we really have in here is we create, this is different than what it was. We actually are calling this a class now class app before it was uh, more of a function and it's going to extend component that's a critical thing uh, and then here is um, let's see, my app bar so basically everything that was in that function from app bar.js is going to be returned right here and this is what will show on our our page um, and so uh, this is what you should end up with so let's Let's real quickly kind of, um, and the, you know, this is what that page looked like. Here were those imports. Here's the class, and here's your um, uh, render and return. And so if we go ahead and um, I'm in the folder where we have the project, and I'm just going to do npm start, and this should uh, start our application for us, and we should see that um, toolbar, hopefully, if everything goes right our app bar still loading there we go so perfect and if I just so you can see I can come into my app bar JS and let's say I want to change this login to um, let's say uh, play game hit save come over here and that updates and see how that works. So yeah, it's a, it's a, a nice look. And so next tutorial we'll work on having some things show in the body here. And then we'll, after that, we'll add a bottom navigation to this, uh, which I think will look nice. That's it. I uh, hope you found that helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.